course, like the MSC Presta programme, is needed now more than ever because the realities of climate change are hitting home. People need the knowledge to sort of be aware of the decisions that they make and the impacts those decisions will make. It's well understood that climate change is the biggest threat to humanity for the rest of this century. What's less well understood is the role that buildings have in that impact. Buildings are responsible for around 40% of the carbon emissions into the atmosphere which cause climate change. Those emissions are generated by the energy used to build and construct and to run buildings, heating, lighting. The course provides the skills and knowledge for people from a wide range of backgrounds, not just architects, but also engineers, geographers, environmental scientists, how they will become consultants and researchers and help in architectural practices to promote the whole agenda of, of low carbon building design. As an architect, I've always been interested to reduce the environmental impacts of the buildings, and the MSC Cresta provides me the best learning when it comes to sustainability and environmental resilience. What I most enjoy about this course is that it prepares me with practical skills. We have workshops for building performance analysis, uh, architectural field trips, and learnings uh, for sustainable strategies and concepts. Since the MSC Cresta course started about 13 years ago, it's always been an international course. We've attracted students from all over the world. The tutors who teach on the course are also international. I think it helps everybody understand better some of the issues and problems, not just related to buildings and the, and the environment, but globally. The university has a fantastic variety of facilities. I have the architecture studio offering dedicated workspaces and also the Sydney Library, which offers me quiet study places to do my researching. After finishing the MSc Cresta course, the graduates go on to become experts in architectural practices and environmental consultancies, and sometimes they go on to become academics as well by doing research. I think it's true to say there's been maybe a lack of understanding of just the impact that buildings do have on the environment. The skills they learn on the programme make them the specialist in that group and become better students and better architects, designers for the future.